thanks so much for speaking with us. My pleasure. Thanks for speaking with me. Wonderful. Well, we mind our readers for questions to pose to you, so I'm just going to get started now, if that's okay. Uh, absolutely. That was a great way to do it. Great. Well, I, or maybe. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> So, Twitter user Yum Yucky wants to know, your career is centered around so much delectable food and drink, yet you maintain a slim and fit appearance. How do you prevent overindulgence and weight gain? Uh, I'm holding it in at all times, <laughs> including now. I actually, am, I actually have in the last couple of years, I've put on a couple of pounds, and uh, I, I, I'm fighting as much as possible the, the urge to go to a gym because I, 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 I don't like doing that. Um, I walk a lot. Um, I guess with food, what I'm more interested in than quantity is variety. And I'm just lucky in that I'm not one of those people with that, uh, with that obsessive personality that, that just compulsively eats. Um, I like to taste a lot of different things more than I need to eat great amounts of things. Um, there are exceptions. I eat way too much cheese. Um, and it's catching up to me. But um, I, I wish I could tell you that I'm running 10 miles a day, but um, it's really just running to the subway. That's pretty much it. Sounds great. Love that moderation. So Twitter user FitBottomGirl wants to know, just like there are trends in fitness and fashion, there seem to be trends in food. What healthy trends are you seeing? Well, first of all, I want to note, so FitBottomGirl has pretty much defined herself around the, the fitness of, oh, never mind. Um, <laughs> she must be very fit. I, she mu must have a terrific, uh, never mind. Um, healthy trends in food. Well, you know, uh, this isn't something that's brand new. And I should say, first of all, that I really don't focus a lot of attention on trends. But I can tell you what I'm interested in, and uh, which is honest, real, natural food. And Despite what you hear about the obesity problem that we have in our country, yes, there are a lot of people who eat too much fast food, but there also are a lot of people watching Food Network, reading Bon Appetit, learning how to work with olive oil and herbs and nuts and real things. And I guess if there's one thing that, uh, one trend that I'd like to see grow even more, it's the continued attitude toward cooking as a joy rather than a burden. Um, I think cooking is tremendously important for people and families. It's an expression of creativity, of generosity, of love. Um, it also is an opportunity for applause. Um, but you're never more connected to your food than when you've actually prepared it. And that's a trend that I hope will always continue. Absolutely. Kind of going off that idea, Iowa Girl Eats was wondering, um, she, she had read that you learned from and were inspired by your mother's cooking, and she was as well. So she wanted to know what your absolute dish she made for you was. Uh, probably mom's vegetable soup or her barbecued pork chops, yeah. um, which I will be experiencing in less than a month when I go to visit her. Uh, one, one thing that my mother n never has made very well, and I would say this to her face, is coffee. <laughs> <laughs> My parents drink the worst coffee I've ever tasted. Um, we like to joke that it's basically hot water with a brown crayon dipped in it. Oh. Um, they feel the same way about my coffee. Um, but they're wrong, is the thing. Um, and actually, the reason I'm with you today is to, is to introduce the newest machine from Nespresso, mm -hmm. uh, the Latissima Plus, which is the first machine in the line to actually create cappuccino at the touch of one button. So you can make espressos, you can make lattes, you can make longos, which are slightly larger than espressos, but you also now have the capacity to make a cappuccino with a built-in uh, milk container that froths the, uh, the, that frosts the milk for you, again, with the touch of one button, which I think is pretty amazing. Um, and Nespresso has a line of 16 different Grand Cru coffees, each uh, the, ranging from uh, different parts, geographical parts of the world to different kinds of roasts, different blends, obviously several different decafs and many regulars. So everybody in the room can have exactly the type of coffee they like the best. And that's a really nice experience, I think. Sounds great. OK, one last question for you from Eating Bender. Eating Bender. Yeah. See, I think Eating Bender needs to get in touch with 
fit bottom mama <laughs> and maybe the two of them can find a happy medium. <laughs> Sounds great. It's, it's a perfect connection, right? Absolutely. So she says that she loves to hear about people following their passion. So she wants you to fill in the blank. When I wake up in the morning, I am excited about my work because... Because there is nothing, I think, more limitless than the world of food. Um, and I, f I felt this way, especially when I got the job on Queer Eye uh, as the food and wine specialist, as opposed to, say, the grooming person, who really, you can talk about teeth whitening, getting a haircut, shaving properly, getting a tan, I don't know, whatever. My field was absolutely limitless. You will never no matter how greedy you are as a, a, or how gluttonous you are as an eater, you will never taste every cuisine in the world. You'll never taste every food, every style. You'll never taste every wine. It's like trying to read every book. It's not going to happen. Uh, there's, there's just such an enormous variety of food in this world. And uh, it, it's a worthy thing to try to taste it all. Um, and in my job, I get to go to work and stand, uh, you know, stand next to some of the best chefs in the country and talk about food all day. Um, I really enjoy it, it's, and I learn a lot. I make much better pasta now that I hang out with Scott Conant uh, than I used to. <laughs> I love that. It's a never-ending quest. Absolutely. A never-ending quest to taste it all. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us today, Ted. My pleasure. Thanks for being with us.